So you've just spent over an hour on your very first drivable vehicle in Trailmakers. It looks amazing. You're very proud of the work you've done. All you want to do now is add some details, like the pig on the hood of your car, so it looks nice and cute. There's only one problem. You're broke. Let's fix that. So what you're going to need for this glitch is you're going to need to host a custom server. You're going to head on to the multiplayer tab, go to custom and create a server. Any server of any type, doesn't matter what server region that you will be playing in. However, you will need to enter into the map Treasure Island. Let's go ahead and jump into that. All right, once you guys have jumped into your custom server, I am joined today by my friend Mango. Hello. And he's here to help me out with this glitch. Let's go ahead and jump into building your guys' spinner device. Before we get building, I want to make sure that you guys are aware of the location you will be doing this glitch. We are on Treasure Island and just north of this spawn down here by where the beach meets the water, you're going to head over to this puzzle over here where you're moving a ball from on top of this concrete ledge into that circle where Mango is flying his craft currently. But once you're in this area, we're going to go ahead and start building a device we will need in order to perform the glitch. Okay you guys, so once you head into your builder, the first thing you're going to need are two 4x8 flat pieces. You're going to place these into a square formation. Next we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a spinning servo. You're going to place that in the center of these two blocks. Next additional pieces are going to be a 2x2x2 two by two by two cubic block. You're going to place three of these on top of the spinning servo. Next block is a 2x4 block on top of that forming this T shape. Head over to your aerodynamics tab. The next thing you will need are 3x4 wedge pieces. You're going to place these on the side of the T, and once you have one here, you're going to extend and copy this block out another eight times. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can grab all the 3x4 wedge pieces then and mirror it to the other side, and then flip and rotate those until it looks like helicopter blades. On the end of your original wedge piece strand of blocks, you're going to go ahead and grab your cockpit piece. Just a standard aerodynamic cockpit. I'm going to go ahead and place this on the side of the wedges. Next, we're going to grab two Dragon Jets. I'm going to place one in the front so it lines with the front of the cockpit. Place another one behind it. Go ahead and copy yourself a 3x4 wedge piece from right next to the cockpit. Place it on the top. Mirror it underneath. And essentially, we're just going to copy this to the other side. And it's not going to line up. We need these to be facing opposite directions. Essentially, we want the aerodynamic pieces of the wedges to actually cut through the air. So we're going to go ahead, flip these around. So once you have everything flipped around, the only thing we are missing are the anchor pieces on the bottom. So go ahead and head into your gadgets tab, grab an anchor pin. You should really only need two. You can put four if you want to be extra safe. But once you have the two down, you're good to spawn it in and just test it out. And you'll see that you do spin rather rapidly. And we're currently looking at a total speed right now of about 408 miles an hour. Should work plenty fine for us. All right, Mango, are you ready to jump into doing the glitch for these guys? Oh, yeah. All right. Alrighty, guys. So with the device of your choosing, you're going to need to grab a hold of the ball from the puzzle. Mango's helping us out with this amazing crate grabbing robot. But as long as it has a magnet, you can be able to grab the ball. You got to take it out of this rectangular glowing area here. Uh, and typically what happens once you remove it from the spot, it glitches out. And you'll notice that the ball tends to go flying, no matter of... There it is, it fell right here. He's all set. Once you find the ball again, you go ahead and grab it like Mango is, and you head over to this other puzzle here. And what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and place the ball in this location. Perfect. So you see right away, wow, we made 50 coins. That's, that's great. Now, how do we get more? So all you're going to need to do is have your friend that's with you in the server just sit in this area. Well, essentially what he's going to do is going to keep the ball from despawning and that way it constantly is rendered into the server. I'm going to head back over to the other location and we will get started with the glitch. So once we are back in this location, when you first arrive, there's going to be a circle around this concrete platform where the ball was originally sitting, as well as the glowing rectangular area. So I had just walked into the circle here around the concrete pillar and now I'm, once I head outside of the square again, you will see that we gain another 50 Trailmaker coins. The way we're going to optimize this and make it faster is with our previous build that we just created. So with this spinning device, essentially all we need to do is make one of the cockpits align with the concrete pillar and be just inside of the circle without making contact with it. 
And as long as one of the cockpits is inside the circle and the other cockpit is outside the square, you can go ahead and hop into your device and just start spinning. The easiest way to keep track of the coins that you obtain is if while you're spinning, if you don't want to keep seeing the challenge completed pop up on your screen, head into your map and you will see as your numbers climb very quickly. And another way you can actually optimize this, you can actually go ahead and just toggle the thrusters for it. Alrighty guys, so now what I did instead of having us hold the thrust down, I went ahead and toggled the engines, placed it back in position. Now all I have to do is press my one input for those, we begin spinning. You can then hop into your map and you'll notice as our money just climbs. And this does work for everybody in the server. Mango, are you getting gold right now? Hell yeah. Perfect. Alrighty guys, that's all I have for you guys today. So, if you guys do try out this glitch, please let me know in the comments below if it did work for you. This should work across all platforms. And if you guys haven't already, feel free to subscribe. It's totally free and totally up to you if you guys want to continue to see content just like this. Again, special thank you to Mango for helping me out making this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.